Today's Skull and Bones video is all about showing off the Sambuck. The Sambuck is the flame ship, and I'm going to show you why you'd want one. It's not really the best PvP ship or anything like that, but it is one of the better PvE DPS ships. If you're doing, uh, you know, one of these little convoys, these little raids, these little raid bosses, there's really no better ship currently in the game. Uh, the reason being is because you can chain fire everything around you, dealing lots of damage over time. And then once everything's on fire, you can deal even more damage over time. So, the Nord Derelict is one of the harder ships for players to kill uh, due to just constant spam, due to constant uh, mortar spam. I'm going to show you with this specific build. I'm going to show you how it works in combat, and then I'm going to show you... How we're building it. So first, I, I want to kill this ship because this is the healer ship. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and attack it. It's it's also in the middle, and we want to catch everything around it on fire. So uh, that's why I'm attacking this ship first. You can see I'm already taking lots of damage. Look at my health bar. Now that I've done a crew attack, I should heal that right back up from the crew attack. And now I'm full health again. And now, look, I took more damage. I'm doing another crew attack. And uh, you'll see that my health just keeps bouncing right back up. Now I am taking large amounts of damage here. So, uh, I am going to have to, uh, <laughs> you know, pop a heal there, but that's okay. And, uh, you know, I don't have to stay on the same ship. You know, once I attack one ship for a while, I can switch targets. It's fine. And as long as I can uh, trigger more crew attacks, I can keep my health basically up infinitely. So, I need to get a little bit closer, throw some firebombs. That's going to pop another heal for me. There we go. And, again... I want to continuously build that crew attack damage meter, and I know I'm walking into a mortar, so that's why I'm bracing. And yes, mortars are kind of annoying to deal with, but uh, we got more crew attacks, so again, my health will keep bouncing right back up. So yeah, normally you don't want to solo these kinds of activities, but um, <laughs> uh, again, we're going to brace all those. There we go. And uh, I got 30 seconds on a heal. Really want to get another crew attack popping out here. And yes, there we go. We ship we sunk a ship already, so we can technically retreat a bit. And I might go down here. I actually might go down. It really depends. And brace that. There we go. I got 12 seconds left on a heal. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot some things here. Yes, we got five seconds left. I just have to play evasive. And block all that. Uh, one second, one second. There we go. We're back in. We're back in the fight, boys. And here come the ads. The ads give a lot of people trouble, right? And uh, I don't claim to be some sort of pro, but, um, you know, this ship is meant for clearing ads. This is an AOE clear ship simply because now everything is exploding on fire around it. So, again, I just want to do some crew attacks. That's my goal. Because crew attacks are how we heal. Crew attacks are, are how we sustain in the fight. And, of course, you know, the sooner I kill the ads, the better. Now... Again, I'm, I'm walking into mortars here because I don't have sprint. I do have to brace those. Go ahead and eat some food. Also, I didn't I didn't pre-buff in the fight, so I should probably do that. Even though I might go down and have to re-eat, that's fine. Uh, the Norderlicht, again, uh, you want to save him for last because he he's the big DPS damage ship. He's just shooting crap everywhere. But we do want to, you know, stack up the fire, stack up the damage. I got 20 seconds on my main heal. And it looks like right now he's not shooting directly at me. He's just kind of shooting around randomly. So, again, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting my fronts here. I'm keeping it, you know, chill. Let's go ahead and build that fire back up. And if you're wondering, why am I playing a fire ship without a flamethrower? We'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Go ahead and... Uh, okay, so I'm going to pop a heal there just in case. And brace that big barrage that he's about to do. And I didn't mean to fire both. I really want to kill this other ship. This, uh, the, the, the Schoonhaven that's in front of me. If, if I even said that name right. Alright, I need to keep an eye. Okay, we got throw fire bombs. That's a heal. There we go. We're going to catch this dude on fire and then we're going to focus on his buddy. He's almost on fire. That's, uh, again. I should be weaving the ship. I need to slow my ship down so I can angle it in a corner like this. That way I can get double shots. All right, let's uh, he's getting away, boys. <laughs> uh, now that I'm not in front of or to his side, he can't hit me with those uh, those side cans, but he can mortar me, which is something that I'm wanting to avoid. And just in case, I'm gonna brace, just in case. 
Alright, so we almost got another crew attack on him. I'm gonna speed up even though we're going headwind here. That way I can mortar him. Or not mortar, but you know, Molotov, what that's the word. That's the word I want. Throw firebombs, there we go. That's our that's our heal. Alright. Neuter schnicked, whatever his name is. Dang, he hit me with another one of those. Also, I should probably be aiming for those weak points just a little bit. Let's start let's uh let's start softening up the doughboy over here. There we go. Throw those firebombs on the sh the Schnoonhoven. Schnoonhoven, what a fun name that is. Alright, there's another firebombs. Again, on these little smaller, like this, the sandbook is amazing at like low level ship clear. Like if you want to farm low level ships, this is the one to go to. I'm going to brace all of this. And then throw firebombs to heal the residual damage that I can't block because I am not a tank ship. And you can see, you know, you know, a, a pretty difficult fight. We're, we're, we're doing very well solo so far. <laughs> and this one's just, a, he's just about dead. He's burning up. He's got crew attack available. And there we go. That's the loot. Easy precision drill bits. Here come the adds once again. You know, ad clear, super easy to deal with. Uh, we can, again, also bum heals off of them by throwing firebombs. Keep our health topped off and nice. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. And uh, where's the main ship at? Okay, there he is. He is... What is that mortar? That looks like a poison mortar. I don't know what that... Maybe he's trying to heal. I'm, I'm really unsure what he was doing there. But, uh, yeah. We got this. Let's go ahead and focus the main bad boy ship. Take that dude out. Go ahead and grab the loot. Sometimes the loot's hard to grab. Did I lose sight of him? I think I lost sight of him. Wow. There he is. I need to, I need to track that guy. There we go. And put a little marker on him. Let's speed up. Get nice and in there. How far left does he go? So this technically... Oh, he's, he's fleeing. The fight's over. Once you kill his friends, the fight is over. But I, I still want some beef with this guy here. How far away are you? I need to be within 250 meters for my cannons to have effective range. Yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty simple encounter. We did have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, you know <laughs> butt puckering, so to speak. But we did okay. If I can just catch up to him, I just gotta angle my ship not directly in the wind. Well, which is harder said than done. All right, that ship's still out of range. Now he's technically in range. We can fire on him. And uh, there we go. Just keep shooting there. I do want to get this guy, though. He's the main focus. All right. Immune? Uh, what? Um, huh? Why are you immune? I'm not allowed to attack you after the encounter? After I killed your buddies? That's stupid. Well, that's really dumb. Anyway, I guess we'll go over the ship and the build and why you want to build it this way and how we built it this way and uh, go over why we're not using a fire cannon in the front. I'll, I'll talk about all that after I kill this guy because I, I do have to kill this guy so I can exit combat, apparently. And, you know, I could just firebomb him and get a heal. So I think I'll just do that. There we go. Oh, crew boarding. That also heals you, by the way. There we go. Just board them, boys! And yes, take all the cannonballs. There we go. Now we're fully healed. Let's get to the nearest dock. That one is going to be hostile, most likely. Yeah, that's so dumb that I can't fight the boss <laughs> after killing his, um, his ads. You're not really supposed to kill, like, you're not really meant to kill that one. But I, I, I wanted to kill him anyway for the video. Anyway, let's just get to the dock here and, uh... Can I stay out of combat? Who is aggroing? That guy is in combat with something else, so it shouldn't it shouldn't bother me. I should be able to drop combat. I wish dropping combat was faster, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, so still flashing at the top. Don't want to approach any towers. There we go. We dropped it just in time. So we can dock. I can go over the ship details. And you can see, you know, this this ship, it's really good for farming lower level ships. And it was the PvP meta for Helm Wagers. Uh, I'll talk about that too. Actually, I'll talk about that first. So, let's talk about Helm Wagers. A Helm Wager is when you collect some coins, it gives you the offer to double or nothing, where you have to deliver it to some random outpost. And what people would do is they'd get the sandbuck and they'd set at the outpost, and when the, the guy delivering the coin rolls up, they just nuke you down. Well, that meta has been defeated by the snow, where it is now, for Helm Wagers, the snow can just tank all the hits until they can turn in the coins. They don't even have to shoot you. So right now, if you're doing a Helm Wager, you go snow. And um, 
it, it's kind of silly to do, right? So you, you swap to snow, you do your helm wager, and then you just deliver. You don't even fight. It's so dumb. And there's no ship that can DPS down a, a blocking snow with proper food in time for them to turn it in. Whereas if you just want to kill people, yeah, you still go sandbuck. You still camp the, the helm wager spot. Um, but other than that, you know, that that's the meta. Uh, as far as uh, the other one, the cutthroat thing goes, you're better off with the brig brigantine. I don't know. How to, I still don't know how to pronounce it, even though you guys correct me in the comments. And finally, if you're doing the other thing, the um, hostile takeovers, you still go brigantine or brigidine. I don't know how it's pronounced. Let's just go over the ship review. Let's go over the weapons. Okay, so manage ship. The weapons. Here's why we're using the Zamza threes. Okay. You may be thinking, but 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 the fire cannon's better. It's a fire ship. No, I'm gonna tell you why. First off, the Zamza three drast even on the front, you know, even on the front, it drastically out DPSs all the fire cannons in the game, all of them. Also, it builds Raider, as in your charge rate of your um, crew attack, much faster than any of the flame cannons, and. It builds flame meter faster than the... It literally builds your fire meter faster than the flame cannons. I'm not even joking. If I take the best flame cannon in the game and hold left click on a, on a ship, the fire and the charge rate of uh, crew attack will build slower than with the Zamza 3 on the front. It literally is slower. I'm not joking. And the DPS is worse. The damage is worse. There's no reason to use the flame cannons currently in the game on any build for any ship for any reason. The Zamza 3s are just vastly superior. So, you want to put that on all sides. I don't have it on the back. I have a Fire Bombard on the back. Just because I like a long range option. And then for your middle, I thought that the Rockets would be cool. Even though this is just the level 2 Termites. Um, just because it has burning damage. But the DPS is way worse. And you, you want a ranged option. So, I would recommend the Leopold 3. I'm using this on another ship, so I don't feel like pulling it. But a Mortar 3 works just fine. It's just a nice ranged option to have because you don't really have a, a lot of range with this build. So the majority of the build, uh, besides, you know, let me just show you the ship. For those that don't know, the, hold on, I have to, yeah, the Sandbook. So for those that don't know what the hell a Sandbook is, it is the Flame Ship. So whenever you catch something on fire, it deals 5,000 bonus damage, which is not a lot in this game. 5,000 bonus damage is like being hit by two and a half bombards. That's it. Not volleys, not not a full set of cannons, just two two bombard hits, two and a half bombard hits. It's not a lot. And what this does is it's going to make a little small explosion of fire ar around the ship, catching the other ships on fire as well, which is a nice damage over time stacking. But uh, it increases the damage the ship takes while it's on fire by 50%. This sounds like a lot. 50% sounds like a lot. It, realistically, when you're hitting with the Zamza 3s, this is about four to 5,000 more damage. It's it's an okay amount. It, it, and it doesn't, it doesn't count for crew attack. Crew attack doesn't get buffed by this for some reason. I wish it did. That'd be crazy damage, but it doesn't. And it doesn't uh, increase the damage of the damage over time burning effect. It just increases how much your cannons are doing to the ship. Uh, I wish that... I also... Don't believe this applies in group play. So what I mean by that is that if I catch something on fire, only I'm dealing 50% bonus damage, whereas other people are not. And I don't know if that's a bug or if it's getting fixed or, or what. So that's that, that's the Sam book. So let's talk about the furniture because the furniture is the biggest part of the ship build. And uh, I have tried all the furniture and all the different combinations. I have sat here all day recording tests on all the furnitures, and these are my results and these are my findings. So, I want to talk about the scrapper station, which is how I sustain myself in that fight. So, if you are soloing, you definitely want this. I'm going to tell you right now, if one other player shows up and helps you, then this sucks. And here's why. When you build up a crew attack on an enemy ship... Another player can crew attack them instead of you, and then you get nothing. You get no benefit. They don't get any benefit, and you have to build that meter back up. You could be, like, dying. You could be, like, so low HP and about to die, and a crew attack would save you, but then some other player hits their button first, burning the crew attack charge that you built up, and so th that's the downside, is, is in group play or just if random people show up to help you, the scrapper station sucks, and you should not use it. 
Now, using the Zamza 3s, you have a, already a fast reload time. We're going to talk about Signal Gong here. Signal, well, we'll talk about reload times in a bit, but sig, Signal Gong, 15% increased damage after a crew attack for 30 seconds. That sounds pretty damn good. That is, uh, if you're in a raid with an organized tank and heal team, you want to go Signal Gong. Simple as, it's more damage, more damage is good. 15% more damage is, um, it, it's weird how this works, okay? So, you do a crew attack... And you, you think you just gained a 15% damage buff. That's not the case. You gain a 15% damage buff against the target you crew attacked. So it's like a debuff on the enemy and not a buff on you. It's it's stupid how this works. And this might get reworked or patched or fixed. But currently it's 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 only good on a single target, really. Um, let's also talk about um, the Iron Capstan. You're not a tank and you don't want to generate aggro and... The damage reduced by 15% is actually pretty nice, but every boat you fight in the game that isn't being having their sails torn, which you are not a, a, a sails tearing build, you can't root an enemy, this is useless because you have to continuously move alongside them. Then you have the megaphone. Now, this is the reload thing. This is the one every guide's going to tell you to put on, and I'm going to tell you right now. Go out and test this yourself if you don't believe me. This thing doesn't really help the Zamzas at all. You could sit here and nuke a target down with perfect play, and 15% uh, of a faster reload on the Zamzas is almost unnoticeable. You can sit there, like, I recorded footage where I did and didn't use this, and it's not, e it's not even a full second or anything. It's like, it's like milliseconds. It's like, it's, it's completely irrelevant, right? Uh, we have the scoping station. You're, you don't have range. Your Zamzas have a range of 250 meters, making this pointless. And then you have the munitions mixture, which you would think, hey, I like things to be on fire for longer. That's pretty cool. However, the the 30% damage reduction is crappy. It really feels bad. And you may be thinking, but but it's a longer duration, so that means overall it'll deal more damage over time. And no, w once you stick to a target, they're always going to be on fire without this thing. Increasing the duration does nothing for you because they will always be on fire. And all you're doing with this is just nerfing your dur your burn damage by 30%. It sucks. The, the other ones would be like water tank and whatnot and the other tanky thing. There's also rope locker. Rope locker would help you dodge mortars. That's the only purpose. If you manage your stamina, you could dodge mortars. That's about it. Now, the, uh, the rest of the furniture, this is very important because this build, you specifically need all of this furniture for it to work where you can spam crew attacks. The first one being... Spiked Warhorn. This increases your charge rate of crew attack by 10%. This does not sound like a lot, but it is. It adds up. Every single little pellet that you hit from your Zamzas, man, this th this is how you can instantly boost your crew attack to maximum every single time. You need this. Next up is the Demi Cannon Works. I want to talk about this one, okay? So 19% increased elemental damage is not a lot. Uh, if you don't hit a weak point, it's 20 damage per pellet, and there's 20 pellets that hit. So, it, it's like, what, 200, 400 damage on a non-crit. Uh, on crit, it's about 50, 60 damage. On weak point, it's it can be 50, 60. So, you, you take those numbers, you multiply it by 20. That's how much more damage you're doing. It's the, the, the thing, though, is that by dealing more damage, you build your meters faster. You build the, catching them on fire faster. You build crew attack faster. Without this, you do not crew attack in one shot. Next up is the Gunpowder Bench. This increases damage to enemy ships with the ablaze effect by 10%. So when they're on fire, you're dealing 10% increased damage to them, which helps you build meter faster, which helps you DPS faster. This is about two to 5,000 more damage differential. It's, 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 it's really nice. Next up is the Volatile Fuel. This increases the charge rate of a blaze. This is how you can keep something on fire once you do have it on fire. If you don't have this on, sometimes the fire effect will fall off. Uh, but because you want to charge it as fast as possible, this lets you chain explode smaller ships, kill adds faster, and keep enemy ships exploding constantly. So that's the furniture. Uh, as far as other furniture goes, uh, the, the, the pellet spread on Zamzas, if you increase the range with both of the furnitures, there's a 15% and a 5%. You can get about 295 effective meters range, uh, but against raid bosses, you don't need it. In PvP, you don't need it. And the DPS loss means it takes two full volleys to crew attack instead of one. And that's that's the sandbuck. 
The only uses for the sandbook are if you want to like go farm baby ships along the rivers, it's really nice for that. Um, and anytime there's like a big cluster of ships, it's nice, like lower level ships. But you don't want to do it when you're sailing around collecting coins. You want to bridge a team for that because it's faster and you have a longer range option. When you're fighting those rogues, they're going to nuke the hell out of you at close range. And you're not going to out DPS the level 10, the level 11 rogues um, from a brigantine with cannon, with bombards. You're just not. The only use for this is for the raids. And, oh, you may think, hey, the op welling. Can you solo the op welling? No, you can't solo this because you are constantly being mortared. And you cannot build charge on this because it's level 12 and you're level 11. So you have a, a percent reduction on charge building. It would take it takes like seven to ten volleys to do a crew attack on this thing. You're gonna be dead before that. And if you revive and like, oh, I'm just gonna revive and be at half HP and then I'm gonna go build the rest of the, the, the thing and burn it down. No. You you could say and revive six, seven times, you're gonna take maybe ten percent of this bad boy's HP. The only way to beat the op welling currently is to have an actual organized group in a Discord where you have a tank and a healer and DPS and someone breaking the sails to hold the damn thing down. But Good luck on that. And the drops suck. This thing drops like nothing. There's no good loot on this thing. At least, if there is, no one's telling anybody. So, that's the video. That's the sandbuck. If you want to waste 5,000 coins unlocking the, br the blueprint and another 2,800 on the Zamzas, go for it. But it's not worth it. It's too niche, and it's just not... Like, there's really no point. Like, that raid fight that I showed you earlier, I could do it slightly slower in a brigantine okay anyway thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and don't leave a stupid comment like the snow is the best oh, the snow the snow the snow shut up the snow sucks and <laughs> finally um finally 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 on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click and if you don't click it the sun's gonna get in your eyes and it's gonna burn